Bud, Salad, Ganja, Happy Cigarette, Grass, Blunt, Reefer, Doobie, Pinner, Sticky Icky, Wacky Tobacky, Spliff, Mary Jane, Spice, it goes by many names. And today, we're gonna give you the straight up no BS facts on cannabis. Hey guys, so you think you know what this cannabis thing is all about, huh? Or do you? Cannabis is a drug that can be produced from plants. The cannabis plant contains many chemicals, including two main active ingredients. We got THC, which is the thing that gives you that high, and CBD, which is being studied for its medical benefits. And then there's synthetic cannabinoids, which are developed in a lab and are supposed to be much stronger and actually pretty dangerous. The more you know. All right, so let's play a game that I like to call Cannabis, Not Cannabis. Dried weed leaves, yeah, that's cannabis. Tea leaves, mm, not cannabis. Hash, cannabis. Hash browns, you know that's not cannabis. Cannabis wax, yeah, that's cannabis. Hair removal wax, not cannabis. Gummies, not cannabis. Gummies, cannabis, oh man, I can't even. Point is, cannabis comes in many forms. Oh look, it's 420, time to drop a truth bomb. So when it comes to the teenage brain, there is no safe amount of cannabis. And why? Because the teenage brain is a work in progress. It's not fully developed until you're like 25. Cannabis messes with that development. <gasps> you are unwise to lower your defenses. <gasps> <coughs> oh. Okay, this is BS, I can't breathe in this thing. All right, well, given that you're gonna need your brain for a long time, you gotta protect your noggin, right? But here's the thing, cannabis affects everyone differently, and it can have different effects every time you use it. And today's cannabis is much stronger compared to the stuff your parents might have smoked back in the day. Ugh, who thought those clothes were a good idea? You gotta be careful, you gotta know what you're getting into, and you even gotta know your own limits, all right? All right, hands up if you've heard that cannabis is mostly a relaxing experience. Well, that's actually not BS. Getting high can have calming effects. Sometimes people just want to chillax, you know? But there are two sides to every leaf. <laughs> you see what I did there? All right. Cannabis affects motor skills and judgment and problem-solving ability too. And all that can lead to some pretty epic fails. Cannabis can be addictive and can cause some pretty nasty side effects like depression, anxiety, even psychosis. Remember this too. The younger you start and the more you use, the more likely the chances of addiction. This stuff is too real. You hungry? Mmm. By the way, uh, cannabis has been known to cause the munchies. Here's another effect to chew on. You can overdose on edibles. They can be pretty potent, and that can lead to vomiting, like, all over yourself. You could also black out. I did that for effect. With cannabis, it's called greening out, and it sucks bad. You know, you throw back a couple gummies, and next thing you know, zombie. And if it happens to someone you're with, you gotta call 911 right away. Here's the number in case you forget. You know, some geniuses even think you can drive high. That's some next level BS. You can't, you're impaired. It's totally illegal. And you know what they say, drive high gets you a DUI. Feeling more informed now? Good. Remember, there's a lot of BS out there, so make sure you do your research. Alrighty then. So I'm gonna leave it there, mainly because teenmentalhealth.org is only paying me for a two minute video, and I got other stuff to do today. Plus, they're the real experts. Stay woke, check them out, talk smart, mic drop.